welcome back to my channel. Today we're continuing Final Fantasy VIII. We are... I don't even know where we are right now. We are in a weird situation. We are weird people. I don't know who these people are. We're in Delling City. Um, I don't know where I'm supposed to go, but I have a strong feeling... Oh god, that I'm not where I'm supposed to be. Oh god, can you please move? Oh, oh, can I go this way? No. Cannot go there, okay. Can I move past this? Thank you. Oh god, the controls. Can I do anything in here? No. I don't feel like I'm supposed to be here. Because I... I went through here. But this... I don't feel like I can get anywhere here. I just... My movement does nothing. Pressing X does nothing. So that's... It kind of looks like you could move around here, but I can't. If you can, then I'm doing something horribly wrong and I can't just find the perfect spot or whatever, but I can't get here. So it's making me think that maybe I'm not supposed to be here because I can't do anything in here. I can't get to... Hang on. I can't go to that side. You can't really see, like, the, on the right. I can't go there because, you know, as you can see, that does nothing. So, oh god. So I'm not supposed to be here. But that, see, now I feel like I missed something. But I don't know what I missed. Can I just, upstairs there was nothing. Unless I missed something with that as well. So maybe not here then. Then how about what's in here? Nothing? I'm lost. Like I am truly lost. I don't know what to do. That's a good place to start an episode, being completely lost. I don't know who we are. I don't know where we are. Can we go in here, by the way? Can we go? No, we cannot go there. Okay, okay, so let's, let's try and see what we can do. There's a car in here. Can we go into this direction? No, it creates a wall. Okay, can we interact with this car? No, we cannot. Okay, we cannot move. Can we interact with this car, which, with, with which we came from? With. GDF. What is... G is that like a gull body I think? This just said sir. So I can't Wait. Oh, this takes us somewhere. Oh! <gasps> oh, this takes us to another direction. Okay. So maybe I was not supposed to go there. Okay. See? This looks Galbadia Hotel. Okay, now, now it kind of looks like I'm maybe supposed to be here. Got the hots for the pianist in the hotel bar. See, now it sounds right. Okay, I just went to the wrong direction. That's, that's fine. That is fine. That is fine. I got some lives out of that one. <laughs> okay, let's talk to this dude as well. Hey, Laguna. You back to see her again? Aww. He likes the piano lady in the bar. Well, let's go look at the piano lady in the bar. Oh, another save point. Okay. See? This is a whole lot better. Um, let's save. Hang on, B Garden Dormitory Single. This is where we started the last episode. So I don't need that save point anymore because that episode was fine. I don't need to refilm that. You know what? I'm just gonna use one of these. I don't care. I am feeling weird. Welcome. Please step up to the counter. Okay. Welcome. Without a reservation, you will need to pay in advance. Pay 100 gil. Resting. Wait. 
Do we need to rest? We don't need to rest. We could rest. Wait, these aren't my money. These are someone else's money, right? We can spend someone else's money. Sure. Have a pleasant stay. Or are we supposed to do this? Like the story forces us to do this. I don't know. I don't know. Is there something that we can interact with in this room? Hidden or not so hidden? Thank you very much. We hope to see you back soon. Okay, so we came from there. So do we go here now? Oh, there's the piano. Hello, dude. Welcome! Your usual table is ready. I'll walk around a bit first. I'm gonna walk around, because I want to talk to these. I, uh, as of today, I'm assigned to the Engineer Corps. Nice to meet you all. What a joyous day for me. Please, everyone, don't, don't try to stop me. I would like to propose a toast to myself. <laughs> I don't know. Cool. Listen up, soldiers. I'm Julia's private bodyguard. Better not make a pass at her. Who is Julia? Is Julia the piano lady? Do we have... We can't go there. Okay, can we go on this side here somewhere? No, we cannot. Okay, this is very straightforward. Okay. Sure. I am there. Thanks. Is this a dream? Laguna's pretty cute. What's going on? What's happening to me? Who is speaking? At ease, man. We're going all out tonight, right boys? May I take your order? The usual. Me too. Keep them coming. <gasps> Is that the piano lady? Word. Ooh, so Laguna, Julia should be making her appearance soon. Well, that's her, right? You're going for it tonight? <laughs> yeah, go for it. Oh no. Oh God, I'm not ready for this. I know this song. I know this song. I'm gonna tell this story sometime of how I know this song and how I know 100% um, all the lyrics to this song. It's the only thing that I truly really know about this game, is this particular song. Whatever, man. Can't you see she's working? Don't go back on your word. Come on, go wave to her. Give me a break. So you say, but we know you'll do it. Aww. We're gonna go talk to her. I would love to hear, listen to this music, but I don't know if I'm gonna get into trouble for that. Ah, oh, to be this close to Julia. Is this guy serious? What? What are these other gray thoughts? Uh-oh. My leg's cramping up. Oh no. Uh, oh god, no. game is so like how they can make s this so cute and awkward at the same time I love it so much sad <laughs> oh no Now I can move and it's quiet. Now I can say that song that plays there. Um, so here's the story. Uh, like I mentioned in the beginning of this whole playthrough, uh, when I was a kid, my brother played this game. Now I saw clips of it, clips of this game as he played this, and I obviously heard some music and stuff like that. Uh, I remember hearing that song, like the actual song with the ly lyrics and everything. And I immediately fell in love with that song, and my brother <laughs> burned it, burned that song for me for in a CD form. Like this was like 20 years ago. Um, 
so that I could listen to that song. And I kept listening and listening to that song. I just loved it so much. And in time, as I learned English, um, I learned the lyrics as well. And that song just somehow became the kind of song where, where um, if I'm home alone and I feel like singing, that song is something that I automatically start singing. And it stayed that way my entire life. To this day, it is still the song that when I'm home alone, I start singing. It's from this game, and I've never played this game. So it's it's a, it's so weird to have such a strong attachment to this game without ever having played this, without knowing anything, what the story is about, anything about these characters. Like, you know, it's nothing. Um, it's a weird mix. So I love that I can finally, this song that I've sung in my head and just when I'm alone here and there for, for the last 20 years, I can finally get the context around it. It's, it's kind of fun. So yeah, um, I didn't want to say this when the music was playing just because if I get into trouble for having that music there, if I have to cut it out or something, I don't lose this. So yeah, that's my little story time there. <laughs> so, okay, what now? Let's talk to everyone again. To be able to listen to Julia play on a day like this. Oh baby, this is turning out to be a lovely night. That is true. Hey soldier, you got a little too close to Julia. I'll get you for that. <laughs> Good work, Laguna. Way to go, Laguna. Here, here, sit down. No, I want to go talk to her. Julia, okay. No way, I can't bother Julia. Oh, well, who can you bother? This lady here? No? Well, I mean... Mission successful. Here, have a seat. Okay. I didn't think you'd actually do it. Our popularity rating's gone up a point. <laughs> yeah, but you cut a pretty pitiful figure. What? Yeah, but you cut a pretty pitiful figure up there. I've never heard that kind of a phrase in my life. You cut a pretty pitiful figure up there. Okay. I'd say you're about a th minus three on the manliness scale. <laughs> no, that was cute. Say what you want. Aw, Julia sure is pretty. Aw. <laughs> Laguna, we're taking off. Hey, what's the rush? It's on us tonight. Relax and stay a while, Laguna. Okay, I can't move. <gasps> May I? Did I interrupt anything? No, not at all. Please, sit down. Oh man, oh man, it's really her. What What do I do? Curious what help? What do I say? But man, she's pretty. What's this guy thinking? Who is the gray one? Don't tell me, but I'm just thinking, who is the gray one? You okay now? Kind of. How's your leg? Leg? Oh, this? Yeah, it's fine. Happens all the time when I get nervous. Were you nervous? Oh yeah, I'm still kinda... You can relax. You don't have to get nervous around me. Oh, sorry. Say... Would you like to talk somewhere private? I have a room here. In your room? Well... It's pretty hard to talk freely here. Everyone's listening in. If you'd like to, please come by. I've been wanting to talk to you. You don't want to? Of course I do. Then I'll go ahead and wait for you. Ask for my room at the front desk, okay? Am I dreaming? 
This is a dream. This is a dream. <laughs> no, this can't be a dream. This is too weird to be a dream. Julia wants to talk to me? He talks to himself too much. And just the two of us. Get it together, Laguna. Whatever. Whatever? That's a very squall thing to say. I always screw up talking about myself too much. It's always been like that. But not tonight. I'm all ears for Julia. <laughs> uh, time to use my manly charm and help Julia with her problem. <laughs> Hello. Pretty bold for just a grunt. Julia this, Julia that. Yeah, I'll fix you. Send you off to war a million miles away. Today is my special day, but Julia chose you. Why? Why must it always be like this? And why must it be on this day of all days? Can you really carry on a conversation with Julia? Make sure the conversation's sophisticated. No worries, man. That's like my specialty. One wouldn't say you converse, though. All you do is yep, 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 and never listen. Okay, so we are supposed to go find the room. Shall we save every now and then? I mean, we haven't been in danger though, but it just makes me feel good knowing that I have saved, you know? Welcome, checking in. Which is Julia's room? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> is he really going? <laughs> Ah, Mr. Laguna Luar? I've been expecting you. Let me show you to Miss Julia's room. Thanks for coming. No, not at all. Uh, thank you for inviting me. Have a seat. Okay. Nope. What? We were supposed to sit. Now you want to go. Going so soon? We haven't even talked yet. No, it's not that. It's just that I'm a big fan of yours, so I'm really kind of nervous, you know? So that's why you come to hear me play so often. You, you saw me? You were always smiling while listening, right? I'm thinking about the song lyrics. Is the song talking about these two? Oh my god, I'm gonna cry! Is the song talking about these two? You have beautiful eyes, though they look a bit scared now. Hmm, in this tiny little bar. Hmm, yep, I guess it's these two. Don't worry, I'm not going to pluck him and eat him. I just want to talk, gazing into those eyes. Would you like a drink? Wine, perhaps? I must be dreaming. Yeah, I don't like fighting too much, but you get to travel, you know, seeing new places and stuff. And it's fun, because Kira's and Ward are always with me. Hey, we should all go out drinking sometime. What do you say? And, uh, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, so I want to quit the army and become a journalist. So I can tell people about all the things I've seen on my travels. He's already loosened up. So, like... The other day, one of my articles made the readers call him. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, that was pretty cool. <laughs> I'm happy for you. Oh yeah, and then... Oh, God. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't know one made you sleepy. <laughs> you look adorable when you sleep. Uh, how did I fall asleep? Yes? I... 
I must have fallen asleep talking on like that. Tell me about yourself, like your dreams for the future. I, I want to sing, not just play the piano, but sing too. Oh, I'd really love to hear it, but I can't. I'm no good at writing lyrics. Oh, I know what kind of lyrics you're gonna write. I know them by heart. Hmm, that must be tough. But thanks to you, I think I can come up with something. Thanks to me? Yes. The many faces you've shown me. Times when you were hurt, worried, or felt pain, felt pain inside you. Your smile, your face, your eyes. You've shown me something. I think I can come up with a song. Wow, I must be dreaming. It's not a dream, is it? Laguna, new orders. Meet by the presidential residence on the double. Can we meet again? Of course, I have to come hear you sing. Train announcement, next stop, Timber. Oh, we're back here. <sighs> I need to take a moment here. That song is about Laguna and Julia. I'm gonna cry again. Were we all asleep? Do I get to keep my lives? Maybe someone released some sleeping gas. There's lots of people who resent seed. Maybe. Better be careful. Am I missing anything? Anyone hurt? I don't think so. What a relief. Everything's cool with me. Hey, I had such a nice dream. I had a dream too. It wasn't nice though. I dreamt I was a moron. Wait, he dreamt of that? He dreamt of the whole Laguna Julia thing. He dreamt he was Laguna. Oh my god, we're getting into some Final Fantasy 7 territory here. This is getting weird. That's okay, I love weird stories. Train announcement. We will be arriving in Timber shortly. For those getting off, please be sure you have all your belongings. But seriously, Sir Laguna was so cool. Wait, what? Hey, there was a Laguna in my dream too. He's a gold body and soldier, right? Laguna Kirism Ward. Huh? That's it. That's what? There's no way we can understand this. Let's just concentrate on our first mission. How can they both have the same dream? I guess you're right. We'll put this incident on hold. I'll report it to the headmaster once we get back to Garden. They had a sleeping gas and they dreamt of the same dream. We should be there soon, eh? Here we go. Psych yourself up, baby. Phew, still sleepy. I'm so confused. But in a good way confused, because oh god, we are arriving in timber. Timber Station. Oh, this is where we're supposed to meet Pet Shop. Uh, we're supposed to meet the um, Resistance dude. Can't move yet. Nope, not yet. Have to wait. Nope, not yet. No, nope. Now. Haha, <laughs> yes, now. 
Oh, the forests of timber sure have changed. Oh, but the owls are still around. <laughs> the moogles are still here. Jungle moogles. Owls are still around. Welcome to timber, sir. Come with me, sir. Sure, let me just explore first a little bit. Welcome, how's Timber been treating you? Well, I mean, I just arrived. Oh my god, what's wrong? On vacation? That's not fair. My Georgie is in there. I hate this pet shop. What? Please, please, this way, sir. Are we going on another train? Raiders. What? What? From one train to another. So, you guys are seeds? I'm the squad leader, Squall. This is Cell and Selfie. Nice to meet ya. I'm the leader of the Forest Owls. <laughs> so let's get on with it what do we do just take it easy here let me introduce you looks like you already met Watts I guess it's just our princess then <gasps> princess it's the princess's nap time sir Oh man. I love the music in here. Hey Squall, sorry, but could you go get the princess? She's in the last room up those stairs. Some of our other guys are in the room on the way. Ask him if you get lost. W were we hired to run errands? Well. Are you angry? We're not gophers were seed special forces that is the last time for this kind of thing uh, ouch oh oh selfie squall way to go you tell them they can't treat us that way <laughs> these guys don't seem to have it together getting ready for this strategy meeting sir stomach. Did I do that? I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, that is a save point. Oh, a savey, savey point. Oh, I was Laguna when I last saved. Now I'm alone again. Hello, dude. The sound of the train moving. It's so relaxing. Oh, no, 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 no. What? You're gonna wake the princess? You've got some guts, man. Oh. Our princess is in the room further down. Well, I know that. I just want to explore. Oh, this one? How do I get in here? <gasps> hey, you're, you know, from the party. So does that mean you're a seed? She's the princess? I'm gonna cry again. I'm gonna cry. I'm Squall, the squad leader. There's two others with me. Yes, Seed is here. <laughs> Take it easy. It's just that I'm so happy. I've been sending requests to Garden forever, but nothing. Oh, that's why she was there. To request help. I'm so glad I spoke to Sid directly. Oh, that's what... Was Sid who she was looking for in the party? Oh. So you were looking for the headmaster at the party? Oh, the song. You know Cypher? Yeah. Well, he's the one who introduced me to Sid. Sid is such a nice man. I really didn't think Sid would come out to help a measly little group like us. 
But after explaining our situation to him, Sid gave the go ahead right away. Now that you guys are here, we'll be able to carry out all kinds of plans. Oh, oh, I can move, I can move. Yes? I'm going back to the others. Okay, let's go. Mm, Squall, is he here? He? Cypher. No, he's not a seed. Oh. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, my name's... Yeah, I knew that. Very pleased to meet you, Squall. Seed members dance quite well, don't they? <laughs> Approach your target inconspicuously at a dance party. There may be missions requiring this sort of... Daughter refuge? It's expected of C to learn various skills. Oh, so it's work related. <laughs> That's too bad. <gasps> it's a doggy. Here, let me introduce you. This is my partner, Angelo. We're not gonna rename you, Angelo. <gasps> Angelo is really smart. Here, let me tell you. Renoa's limit break uses Angelo. What? Oh, oh, Renoa. Pinwheel. Pinwheel. That was for Renoa then. I was right. The. He was in a previous episode somewhere. <laughs> the trick. The tricks Angelo can learn are listed on the status screen. The fourth status screen lists all the tricks that Angelo can learn. Yes. The gauge on the right indicates how much has been learned. Okay. When the gauge is full, the trick has been learned. If the gauge is not full, the trick has not yet been learned. Yes. <laughs> to learn a new trick. Move the cursor to the trick name and press X. Yes. Now as Renoa walks around, the gauge will fill up and Angelo will learn the trick. If you select a trick that has already been learned, there will be a message before you close the screen. Won't learn anything. Okay, okay. If there's still a trick to learn, be sure to select it. Cool. You can learn new tricks by reading a magazine called Pet Pals. <gasps> Wait, we found some pet pals in the train, in the last train. After reading pet pals, access the screen to change the settings. That's all for Renoa's limit breaks. Smart, huh? I have some important work to do now. Be good, Angelo. Okay, I'll meet you there. Can I, can I talk to the doggy? Can I talk? I can't move. Now I can move. Hello, doggy. Oh God, that makes me cry. Everything makes me cry, let's be honest. It's the easiest thing in the world is to make me cry. I cry at everything at every time and every... Can I go here? Nope. Sure. Because I don't know what's going to happen to us next. <sighs> Never walk past a save point without saving. The gang's all here. This is Cell. And Selfie. Hi everyone. This way. Oh, we're gonna have our strategy meeting. Can't move. I love the music here. Just stand anywhere you want. This is the this is a full scale operation. 
of resistance, the forest owls, will be forever known in the pages of Timber's independence. Exciting, huh? It all started when we got a hold of top secret info from Galbadia. I got the info, sir. There's a VIP from Galbadia coming to Timber. Super VIP. The guy's name is Vincer Delling, our arch enemy and the president of Galbadia. Winzel Delling is a scoundrel. Winzel Delling. He's a dictator, not a president. Not even popular in Galbadia, sir. President Delling is taking a private train from the Galbadian capital. Our plan is to... Blow it to smithereens with a rocket launcher? <laughs> Not quite. So get to the point, just tell us what to do. Shall we begin? First, I'll go over the model. Base. Oh, that's us. The yellow train on the top right is our base. We're riding on it right now. Right next to it is the dummy car. We made it made, we made it to look just like the president's car. Okay. Their train has three cars. First, there's the locomotive, followed by the first escort. The red car is the president's car. Delling should be inside. The last car is the second escort. Once we get on to we blah, blah, blah. once we get on this one, we begin the operation. Our ultimate goal is to seize the president in his car using our base. That means we'll have to switch our dummy car with the president's car. Wait, just... oh... We'll use the two switch points leading up to Timber to carry out this operation. Okay, now I'm going to explain the procedures in seven steps. Oh god, am I supposed to remember all of this? Sneak on board the second escort. That's the first step. We'll, go we'll get on the roof of the second escort by jumping from our dummy car. Jump from dummy car to second ex escort, okay? Proceed cautiously across the roof of the second escort. The second escort car is the only one that is equipped with sensors, sir. A high-tech officer is on board. I'll talk about the sensors later. Proceed across the roof of the president's car. We can move across the roof of the president's car without worrying too much. Delling hates the company of his guards and being surrounded by sensors and keeps them away from his car. Okay. Uncouple the first escort car. We'll have to complete the uncoupling before the first switch point. If we don't... Boom! Game over, right? Yeah. So we'll have to move fast. Oh god. I'll explain the uncoupling process later. Have the dummy car and our base move in after uncoupling. After the car is uncoupled, we'll have the dummy car and our base move in. At this point, our train and their train will be linked and will and be moving together. Okay. <sighs> uncouple the second escort car. This is the last uncoupling. The process will probably be similar to the first one. Escape with the president's car and our base. If all goes well, we should be able to escape with the president's car. After that, we'll return to our base and prepare to confront Delling. We have exactly five minutes to complete the seven procedures. Five 
five minutes? I'm supposed to do all of that in five minutes. Okay, cool. In five minutes, we need to get on the second escort, proceed across the second escort, proceed across the person's guard. Okay, so basically within five minutes, we need to get on the second escort, go across those two, uncouple the first escort car, so that those can move in, and then we need to uncouple the second escort car. Okay. If we fail, our chain will collide with theirs and the switch point, and it'll be all over, don't forget that. Five minutes, you sure that's enough? According to the simulation that we ran, it should take only three minutes to complete the operation. Piece of cake proceeds, right? Of course, too easy. Okay, now let's talk about how to avoid the sensors on the second escort. Go ahead, Watts. The guards have a sound sensor and a temperature sensor, sir. Sensor, sir. <laughs> Any sound will trigger the sound sensor, so move across very quietly. So do we have to walk? The blue guard is carrying this sensor. The temperature sensor will go off if you remain stationary, sir. The guard in red is carrying this one, sir. When a guard opens the blind, that means he is checking the sensor, so be careful. Oh, so if it's blue, be quiet. If it's red, move. Okay. Okay. The range of these sensors is equal to the length of, the, of one window, so keep an eye on the window below, sir. So exactly how do you avoid them? Stop if there is a blue guard below you. Run if there's a red guard below you. Red for run. Blue for stop. Blue, stop, red, run. Red, run. Red. <laughs> that makes me think of something else. Okay, uh, I'm basically run or stop depending on which guard is below you. Yes, blue, stop, red, run. That's about it for the sensors. Okay. Next, let's talk about how to uncouple the escort cars. Question, how can you uncouple the cars from a moving train? Um, we can't uncouple the cars directly. Instead, we'll have to tamper with the control system that manages the coupling. If we tempor temporarily disable the circuit for the connection, the car will uncouple automatically. To disable it, we have to enter several codes. Wait, do I have to remember these codes? Do I have to take pen and paper? And we have the codes. Renoa has them, sir. I'll be in charge of relaying the codes to Squall. Squall, you'll slide down on the side of the train using a cable. <sighs> There's so much information here, I can't. You'll slide down on the side. Like, this is what I hate. I hate when there's like an hour long tutorial for something that takes five minutes to complete. Squall, you'll slide down on the side of the train using a cable and enter the codes into the system. Now I need you to listen carefully. Each code is made up of numbers between one and four and has four digits. Two, three, four, one is an example. Okay. One, two, three, four, okay. Okay. But the keypad won't have numbers. Instead, It'll have four buttons. Okay. For instance, if I relay the code 3124, you'll push those in that order. Do I get to see this thing? I don't trust this game. I don't trust this game. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna write those down just in case the game does not give me those. I know that I can just, it's one, two, three, four that way, but it's easier for me to think. Four. Three. Two. One. It's easier this way. I'm covering my bases here. Okay. Three, one, two, four. So then it's three, one, two, four. Yes, okay, I can do that. You'll have to be quick and precise. You'll have about five seconds to enter each code. 
otherwise the code will change and the past entries will become invalid. So like we said, we have to enter all the codes to disable the connections. After, the, after we uncouple the cars, we'll wait for the others to operate the rail switch. Remember, we only have five minutes to do everything, so make sure that you are prepared. Okay, let's try practicing entering a code. Enter three codes and you'll be finished. If you want to quit, hold down L1. The code is... Wait! I have to remember it? One, 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 one. Oh, now you're giving me an easy one. Okay. One, three, four, one. One, three, four, one. Oh, that was not one. Three, one, one, three. Three, one, one, three. Go two confirmed. One, three, two, two. One, three, two, two. Okay, you got it? In the real thing, there's a strict time limit leading up to the switch point. Don't forget that. Um, that's all. By the way, this model's nice, but the president's car looks kind of shabby. Why is that? <sighs> yeah, Renault made it. That's why. We bought everything else at the gift store. <laughs> oh my god, how many times do I have to do this? Oh, I thought some kind of, some kid made it. The paint job sucks. Yeah, it kind of does. Oh, shut up. I made it look like that on purpose. It represents my hatred towards Dilling. I don't know, from here it kind of looks cool. Hatred, eh? Yeah, right. It's one of the ugliest things that I've ever seen in my life. You must really hate him. <laughs> Are you guys finished? Enough about the model. Can we get on with it now? Do you understand? Yes. I mean, yes and no. Let's decide on the party. Gathering information is my speciality, sir. Oh, it's my stomach. Oh god, no. We're moving again. I'll go take a look. Talk to Watts when you're ready. The sooner, the better. <sighs> oh, we have Renoa here. Why is no one junctioned? Why is no one junctioned right now? What the heck is going on? Why is nobody junctioned except for Squall? Why did you take away these? What the heck? See, I don't like this. Why do I have to keep doing them all over again? Why are these not junctioned? I don't understand. Why do I have to keep doing that again? There's a clipping from a magazine. Read it. Anarchist Monthly, first issue. Galvadius Dictator, President Vincer Daling Special. How does he stay in power? We really reveal his darkest secrets. Is this the same one? Second issue. Uh, president Dalian became the president after the Second Sorceress War. Sorceress War ended. Second Sorceress War. What the heck are Sorceress Wars? To gain support quickly, he carried out the invasion of Timber. It was only a ploy to decorate an already corrupt man's immoral career. Our land, Timber, was brutally destroyed. Here began Vincer Derling Derling's road to dictatorship. Oh, cool. Do we have anything else in here? No. We have this thing in here. We can't react. Yeah. I'm gonna have lighting issue issue shoot shoot shoot. Oh my god, we've been here for almost an hour. Oh, oh goody. Have you seen the dummy of the president, sir? If you haven't, please take a look. See, it's like a piece of art. I know the kidnapping plan must be tough, but the best of luck to you, sir. Are you ready, sir? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. 
Not yet. Shall we save? That save point is just before the explanation. Do I need the explanation? I don't need the explanation. Almost an hour. Should we still move forward? President's dummy. I'm in a bad mood right now. If there is nothing in particular, I order you to leave immediately. That dummy looks real, huh? No one will ever realize that it's a fake. Oh, they're gonna have an actual dummy person as well? That dummy looks real, honey. I know. We're gonna have the dummy hold a newspaper. That way his face is covered. No guard would dare look over the paper after what we programmed him to say. Programmed. I'm the one who made the dummy president. It talks when you get close enough. I hope this will trick the guards. So it's not actually a person? Interesting. Oh, Angelo. Oh, Angelo. Oh, Angelo. Hello. Oh, there's something on here. Pet Pals will too. See, I don't know how to get... Action. No. How? How? How do I go to there? I thought that that would go from status, but we can't... Do and oh, we press a button. Okay, we press a button. Okay, okay, we press a button. I found it. I found it. We press a button. Angelo Rush. Yes. Um, okay, so we need to, I think, read those magazines then. Hen hang on, maybe. Where do we have them? Magical lamp. You should save your game before using it. Is that like a extra mega hard GF thing? That's my first idea. Pet Pals Vol 1. Welcome to Pet Pals. We bring the latest pet news to dog lovers. Your dog learns a trick to damage enemies in this issue. Your dog comes to your rescue when you are in grave danger. It's called Angelo Strike. As your dog lovers already know, walk with your dog to help him learn this trick. Pals. Have you ever wished your pet could rescue you in battle? This is just the trick for your dog to learn. Your dog finds and uses potions and other cures on a member who's near KO with this trick. It's called Angelo Recover. A very nice trick indeed. Wait. It, was that enough now? Can... Restore HP to a party member with low HP. Damage one enemy. Damage all enemies. So we want to learn this. Cool, cool, cool. That was cool. Was there anything for these people now? That's... Auto is off. Oh god, these. I'm not good at these, but I, I will learn. See, I don't know why these are not junctioned anymore. You don't have anything. You don't have anything special. <sighs> okay, anything else in here? Nope. Hello, Angelo. You're learning something now as you walk. Okay, so here's the thing. Yes, we have fought only, it's only five minute thing to do the train thing, but I don't know when we get a save point next time and considering we've been here for almost an hour anyway and I'm still not trusting my audio issue stuff I think I might want to end the episode here and we're gonna I'm gonna forget everything that I just learned there and then we're gonna do that thing in the next one no it's not actually gonna be like that because obviously before I start the next episode I can recap from just just watching this video what happened but yeah anyways i think i'm gonna end the video here we're gonna do the train thing first thing in the next episode just because it kind of seems like that whole 
seen might take a while and I don't want to make long videos until I can be certain that I don't have audio issues anymore. I haven't had them now in a while so I think this last trick that I did might have been the thing to help me with this thing but I'm still not trusting it so yeah let's end the episode here. I hope you liked this episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you're new, consider subscribing and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!